Alright guys, so to check my progress and to make sure I am taking more and more of my body weight over the next two weeks, I'm going to step on the scales every week and the goal is to have more and more of my own body weight on it. So when I step on it, you'll see what weight bearing looks like. So I've currently got one foot off, one foot on, and I'm trying to put as much weight through my injured foot as possible. And it's probably as, it's probably as much as I can push it. It's about 23, 24 kilos of my weight. It's about pushing it, but not overcooking it. So over the next few weeks, my goal is to take more and more of my own body weight through that injured leg until I'm full weight bearing. Once that's clear, I can ditch the crutches. I'll probably still keep the moon boot for a few more weeks. And then obviously after that is full weight bearing without the moon boot altogether. So that would be my tip for you guys that are recovering from an Achilles uh, injury would be using a set of scales and just planting your foot on it like this to see how much weight bearing you're actually taking. I estimated about 20% and looking at 23 kilos, it's probably about 18, maybe 17%, so not too far off. Guys, just had my body scan done. Uh, currently at 17 kilos of body fat, which isn't too bad. Um, but obviously the goal would be to try and slightly pull that back down. The time, but I'll show you guys how I stay lean or how to get lean while still being uh, injured down and out. But I'll be getting these scans every week and then keeping in check with you guys via YouTube, via Instagram, and I'll show you how it's done. Most of this, guys, is in your head. It's your mindset, man. Like, a lot of people blame their situation. Oh, I don't have the money. I don't have the food. I don't have the support network. I don't have the, the knowledge. It's like, man, it's, it's literally here, right? You've got your own brain. Use it, man. It's a mindset thing. So I refuse to put on weight while I'm uh, down and out and injured. I refuse to also have a slow recovery. That's just the mindset I'm fixed on. When your mind's fixed on that, you always get what you want. I mean, that's how I built this place right here. So, you know, when your mind has a target to locked in on something, you go and get it, man. No distractions, no excuses. Just lock in, man, and get it done. What's up, guys? It's my fourth day out of surgery. Um, I'm in the car on my way to my mum's house, my first actual outing since surgery, but this is how I pretty much have to get around. Back seat, leg out in front of me, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing my family. I've been sort of parked up in bed for the last few days, as you guys know. Progress is getting there, being able to put more weight through my foot. Still feeling really positive, man. Doing lots of reading, lots of audios, watching lots of motivational stuff on YouTube. So really keeping my mindset positive, man. I think that's the that's gonna be the key throughout this whole rehab phase. Okay, it's a beautiful day here. It's hot as hell. I think it's like 30 degrees already, and it's only like 11 a.m., but um, really excited to go see my family. All right, guys, so we're at my mom's house. I was gonna have a coffee, but coffee is really bad to have when you're on opioids. It slows down the absorption rate of those opioids, and obviously, with the pain I have, I want to make sure that drugs kicking in ASAP. So, coffee would slow that down. So, I opted for a kombucha instead. Pain's probably about a six out of ten at the moment. Can't wait to get in that pool, though. My nan's here. <laughs> Ghost, no that she a thought though. We got bitches shaking ass in the lot though. Big chop knocking nigga on sapatos. Still getting cast so like not so. What's up guys? Currently 6.30 p.m. Pretty happy with how today's been. The pain's been really, really good. It has been the most weight I've been able to distribute through my foot today, which felt pretty awesome. Just gotten up from a sleep, and now we're about to head out for dinner. It's my cousin's birthday, which I didn't make last night. It's a little bit too sore. It's his 18th birthday, so we're going out for dinner right now, and I'm about to go get changed. I'm really excited. It's my first, like, outing, outing since surgery, so let's get it done. Yeah, I actually don't even know what I want to wear. I can't even wear jeans. I can't wear jeans because I got this huge ass moon boot on, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what Katie's wearing. Do, 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 do. She's got jeans on. Wish I could wear jeans. Looks like shorts for me, and I might even just go with like a button up or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so I got my outfit. Just rocking with this Ralph Lauren Cardi. No t shirt underneath. Nice and thin. It's pretty warm here. Some shorts on, and of course, I'm going to rock some easy boosts. And I've got my hat, man. My one million dollar hat. Money may wear the hat, money on my mind, this sort of mindset. Anyways, we're off to dinner, man. Can't wait. I've got me a chicken Caesar salad. My mum's here at the moment, she's ordering it. I think Katie's gonna have a what are you having? T bone steak. It's funny. We always get funny looks, man, when they come out. They, they always bring the, the steak meal to me, <laughs> thinking that it's mine, and they give her the salad. I say, no, 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 other way around. I'm the salad guy. <laughs> she's the big chick.
All right, guys, we're at the Park Ribs tab with the family. We're having a fun okay. Uh, what I went with was a chicken Caesar salad. And see here, we got a side of hollandaise. These guys make the best hollandaise in the game. We had uh, eggs on toast today, and this is pretty, pretty much my second meal. And then we'll see if I have another meal when I get home tonight. But pretty excited, got all the cousins here. Also, I gotta introduce you to this guy, a superstar of our family. This is Kaya, man. What are you going for surgery? 20th. 20th. Yeah. 20th, this guy goes in for surgery, man. He makes my ACL look like a scratch. <laughs> this guy has been through some battles, man. One of my biggest inspirations. Idiot! Yeah. What are you eating? Oh. Was it supposed to be one of those ones? Yeah. This piggy's eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that for? You! <laughs> Canal, bro! <laughs> Damn! That's just for this guy. Oh, nigga can eat! 18th birthday, my kids! <laughs> look at him, look at him. Got some new work done as well. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. We got all the family here today. Family on this table as well. Voila. Alright. from the sauce. Alright guys, we just got home from dinner. It is time to put my shoes back in the cubbies. Yes, I'm a bit of a sneaker collector. I love my shoes. This is how I store all my shoes, my favorite shoes. Come over here, come over here, have a look. We got a big range of shoes. This section here, we've got all my Yeezys. All right, down the bottom here, we've got uh, a lot of Jordans. A lot of my favorite shoes, I'm a big Adidas Nike collector as well, but cannot go wrong with those Yeezys over there, they're my favorites. Anyways guys, it is 8.30 p.m. It is time for me to go to bed. I want to take one last painkiller, Targan, and then that'll be me till tomorrow. It's Monday. Let's go. Hey.